Many people have often asked the question, what will happen if we don't meet the deadline? We have had different situations. Threats, menaces, different things. But we all understood that touching such a large facility was fraught with consequences. But there were no definite answers as to what would happen until these answers were formulated in the form of clearly and unambiguously spelled out documents on paper. We could assume that we will still be doing things and solving problems as they arise and in what way was still unknown, not spelled out on paper, but it was clear that we will still be doing things and bringing them to a successful completion. Yesterday we received the documents, finally, saying that on the 27th of March 2023 the Moscow city government and the Department of Investment and Industrial Policy of Moscow have made an extract from the minutes number 63 I can now read the introductory part. The chairman of the Interdepartmental Commission, the executive secretary of the Commission, on the issue of the agenda of the meeting of the Interdepartmental Commission, reviewed the application to change the conditions of the agreement on activities in the Special Economic Zone Technopolis of the technological innovation type created in the city of Moscow. Here is the presenter, the reporter, in relation to us, where we asked to extend the deadline until the end of September. And they decided to support the business plan of Savalmash for the implementation of the Innovation Center for the design of energy-saving technologies and recommend an additional agreement number two to our main agreement. Then comes an additional agreement to the agreement on the implementation of activities in Moscow, etc. And in this agreement, a condition of payment of resident to the Department of Investment and Industrial Policy of Moscow, a penalty of 3 million rubles if the resident violates for six months the deadline for commissioning of capital construction. The commissioning date according to the updated business plan no later than the 30th of September 2023. Colleagues, we have to understand that this is not the completion of construction, but the deadline for commissioning. This means that it is necessary to obtain a conclusion on the completion of construction and a permit for commissioning. The answer is received. So what will happen? We will pay 3 million rubles fine if we violate it by 6 months. I think we can agree with this condition. Sovolmash shall submit to the Department of Investment and Industrial Policy of Moscow within three months from the date of signing an additional agreement, irrevocable bank guarantee in an amount equal to the amount of penalties for breach of conditions, which must be at least three months longer than the date of commissioning of the capital construction. It's clear, right? and also an irrevocable bank guarantee in the amount equal to the maximum penalty for violation of the terms and conditions of the agreement in the wording of the supplementary agreement dated the 17th of October 2022 in terms of making investments with a term of validity not less than one year beyond the date of completion of investment. I hope that you also understand. This means that the investment schedule that we provided, if we violate it, Penalties will be taken. The amount of penalties is there, and they are calculated according to a special formula. And we have to provide such a guarantee. It's clear, right? That's why we talked about investing, preferably with acceleration. But at the same time, 
it says that the term of the investment must be at least one year longer than the end date of the investment. That's what we see on the construction schedule. But we talked about the fact that when we convert investment shares into shares, we may not have installment payments on the investment shares. And the conditions that are developing now, you know, there are people with installments for 30 months, but this money won't be lost anyway. So conditions that are developing now, that we are talking about and are laid out in this document and will be signed in a supplemental agreement, take into account the possibility of deviating from the deadline, but with penalties, if it is beyond six months. If we look at the schedule of investments by year, which is attached, the current year rate, we see that a lot of things are listed here. Here we have a timetable for investments, which we undertook. And a calculation of technical and economic indicators for each entity. And we have a total of 1,496,300,000 rubles, excluding VAT, in total. Not including VAT, because this is capital construction facility and there is a lot not accounted for, but nevertheless. The total amount of investment, excluding VAT, related to the acquisition, creation and modernization on the site, the use of non-current assets on the site, specified in Annex 10, and so on. It's all laid out and it's all arranged. So who asked the question of what and how it will be if we deviate from the date by six months? We will have a penalty of 3 million, and if we do not manage in terms of investment in a given schedule, then another 5 million or so. We can be punished by 8 million in total if we do not meet the deadline. And we need to have bank irrevocable guarantees for the same sum. Have I answered your question? Colleagues, I have something to ask you about. I'm saying once again that I give specific answers to questions only when I do have a specific answer. All the rest remains speculation and hypothesis, you know, like that time machine thing, how much we will earn and how things will be, whether we will or will not pay penalties, I don't know. If we do manage, we will not pay. If we don't manage, you understand yourself, but I'm just too greedy to pay that money.